Hello students, good morning. I hope you all are safe and healthy at your home. Welcome in our lecture. In this lecture, we are studying about power generation. The generation of electric power is one of the most important application of an energy sources. Solar thermal power cycle can be classified as low temperature cycle, medium temperature cycle and high temperature cycle. According to our syllabus, we will study two low temperature cycle and medium temperature cycle. In low temperature cycle, we are studying about standard power generation system and chimney power plant and in medium temperature power generation we have only one instrument so we start with standard power generation system in thermal application of solar energy power generation is one of the most important applications so here describe the figure is standard power generating system there are two cycle in power generating system one is water circulating system which is described as a blue color and second is Rankine cycle which is described in red color so we start our power generating system low temperature cycle work at maximum temperature of about 100 degree celsius low temperature system use flat plate collector or solar pond for collecting solar energy a diagram of typical low temperature system using flat plate collector and working on a ranking cycle is shown in figure so the main part of the power generating system is flat plate collector or solar collector and the turbine and condenser in energy of the sun is collected by water flowing through the array of flat plate collector in above lecture we studied about array more than one flat plate collector is arranged then this type of system is known as array in order to get the maximum possible temperature booster mirrors which reflect radiation onto the flat plate collector are sometimes used. The hot water at temperature close to 100 degree Celsius is stored in well insulated thermal storage tank. From the storage tank it flow through a vapor generator through while the working fluid of Rankine cycle is also passed. The working fluid has low boiling point concentrically, vapor at above 90 degrees Celsius and a pressure of few atmosphere leaves the vapor generator. The vapor from execute a regulate regular ranking cycle by flowing through a prime mover a condenser and liquid pump the working fluid normally used are organic fluids like methyl chloride toluene butane and some refrigerants like r11 r113 and R114 so we get continuous power generation 
by this type of system some of other schematic diagrams are also described here this is also the power generating system this is also the power generating system and here we saw the receiver which is receive the concentrated solar radiation by heliostat field now in this type of power generating system we have one instrument also the solar chimney power plant in solar chimney power plant a tall concentrate or central chimney is surrounded at its base by circular greenhouse you saw the figure this greenhouse consisting of a transparent cover supported a few meters above the ground by a metal frame sunlight passing through the transparent cover cages the air trap in the greenhouse to help up a convection system is set up in which this air is drained up through the central chimney turning a turbine located near the base of the chimney the hot air is continuously replaced by fresh air drained at the peripheral of the greenhouse the only solar chimney power plant built so far is 50 kilowatt plant in a spain i give some detail of this plant it has a 200 meter high chimney 200 meter height chimney with a constant diameter of 10.3 meters the solar collector area extend to a radius of 126 meter from the chimney with the glazing being 2 meter above the ground the turbine house at the base of the chimney has 4 to 5 meter long blades 4 to 5 meter long blades turbine blades and rotate at 15000 rpm 15000 round per meter to produce at about an output of 50 kilowatt power generation and last point the efficiency of such plant is only 1% energy conversion so this is the information of first solar chimney power plant in spain this is also a figure of solar chimney power plant this is also show a schematic diagram for solar radiation and how air is heated in solar chimney power plant this is also the one of the diagram for the solar chimney power plant in this diagram we show the thermal storage at day and night how day solar radiation is store and how in night this is different type of solar radiation for more power generation 
now our last topic for this lecture is medium temperature system medium temperature system medium temperature system work at maximum temperature up to 400 degrees celsius we studied about low temperature system which work at 100 degree celsius maximum 100 degree celsius medium is maximum for or up to 400 degree celsius and high temperature is more than 400 degree celsius medium temperature system use the line focusing parabolic collector technology a schematic diagram of a typical solar thermal electric power plant operating on a medium temperature cycle and using the focusing parabolic concentrating technology at a low temperature at about 400 degree celsius is shown in the figure we show the next figure this type of system is work at 400 degree celsius temperature the cylindrical parabolic collector use have their axis oriented north south which are line with mirror to collect and concentrate the solar radiation the absorber tube used is made of steel and has a specially developed selective surface it is surrounded by glass covers with a vacuum the collector heat a synthetic oil to a temperature of 400 degrees celsius with a collector efficiency of about 0.7 per for beam radiation the synthetic oil is used for generating superheated high pressure steam which execute a rankin cycle with an efficiency of 38% the plant generally produce electricity for about 8 hours in a day 8 hours in a day and couple with natural gas for the continuous operation this type of system is medium temperature power generating system this is also the figure for this type of medium temperature system i have some videos for power generating system which is attached here see the video first of all we see about rankin cycle in rankin cycle there is heat exchange in heat exchanger the hot fluid is pass and low boiling organic compound get heat and vaporize and they transfer this energy into mechanical energy so turbine runs and we get electricity this is rankin cycle and after completing cycle the fluid is condensed in condenser this is condenser
सोलर पावर प्लांट सोलर रेडिएशन इज एब्सॉर्ब हॉट फ्लूड इज पास इन हीट एक्सचेंजर एंड इट इज रिप्लेस बाय कोल्ड फ्लूड वर्किंग फ्लूड इज वॉटर एयर ऑइल एटसेट्रा इट इज पास इन हीट एक्सचेंजर where it is exchange and then it is pass into generator which generates the electricity so this is the actual situation of power generating system and we get electricity at night it is run by our other energy sources solar chimney power plant this type of central chimney is arranged in central and para paraboloid concentrating collector are arranged which reflect the solar radiation this is the arrangement of power generating system and we get electricity at our house this is another solar chimney arrangement engineering arrangement of chimney we also arrange more than one turbine as described in this video in a day solar radiation is pass and air is heated so the temperature difference in a day at mid in day there is temperature is very high 
then efficiency of hot air is also very high. So the speed of turbine is high. In actual chimney power plant. This is housing which absorbs the solar radiation. These all are solar chimney power plant. This is also a figure for power generating system. Here is three cycles stated. One is from solar radiation. Second is thermal energy storage. And last one is power block. I hope you all are ready for our digital studying because your exam was completed in last or previous lectures we start our digital or online lectures last we complete the thermal application of solar energy now in this lecture we studying about solar thermal application space heating in the presence of solar energy we heat space and use this space in our various so our thermal application of solar energy number two space heating here stated figure is space heating system using flat plate collector and the heating medium is liquid. Some of the parts of the heating system are described in figure. So here A is collecting system that is flat plate collector and we use water as fluid number b is storage tank where it is store number c is pump here two pumps are provided for better fluid flowing number d is auxiliary heaters in sometimes auxiliary heaters are used for heating or starting the system and E is heat exchanger which, which exchange the heat in heat exchanger. So here stated figure is space heating system using flat plate collector liquid and we show the some of the special or simple parts of this system. A space heating system is illustrated in figure. Water is heated in solar collector here we describe as A and store 
in tank b here in tank b hot water is storage now energy is transferred to the air circulating in the housing by means of water to air heat exchanger our describe instrument e is heat exchanger so it exchange the energy from water to air two pumps namely c provided for sir for circulating between the collectors and tank and between the tank and heat exchanger sometimes provision is also made for adding auxiliary heaters in winter or rainy days auxiliary heaters also will be started for heating the system so this is the simple space heating system with use of flat plate collector in this system also a provision for the fpc with the help of air air heaters an auxiliary or alternative approach to space heating is to heat air directly in collectors as shown in this type of figures and also this type of standard diagram this is the schematic diagram of standard air system circulating in this for space heating the heat is then stored in pack with rock gravel or pebble in a pre heating tank it is filled with rock gravel or pebbles which store the heat by heated air in contact the in contact to the above method which are often called active methods these are the active methods here for space heating giving a fair degree of comfort can be or can also be done by adapting passive method for better space heating we have passive method so we show this type of method this is the standard air system this figure is for flat plate collector using water as fluid this is for air heaters and now this is the passive method or it is also known as space heating by trombe wall a passive method is one in which thermal energy flows through a living space by natural means without the help of mechanical device like a pump or a blower here stated figure is this type of passive method or trombe wall this is also the second figure and we studied about the detail in this passive method so space heating by passive method in this figure the south facing wall the south facing wall of the house is double glazed as shown in the figure behind it's a thick black concentrating wall which absorbs the sun's radiation and serve as a thermal storage the derived black wall is so as a thermal storage here went described but went which can be kept open or close 
are provided near the top and bottom of the storage wall which is stated during the day both vent are kept open the air between the inner glazing and the wall gets heated and flow into living space through the top vent simultaneously the cooler air from the room is pull out of living space through the bottom vent thus a natural circulation path is set up during the night both vents are closed and energy transfer takes place only by radiation the trombe wall design can also provide summer ventilation <coughs> by vent on a hot summer days vent would be kept open while vent would be kept close the heated air between the glazing and the wall would then flow out through vent drawing air from the living space to replace it in winter both vent would be kept closed then open the circulation path for this is open and closed so this is the space heating system we are studying here as used as flat plate character with liquid fluid and air fluid and also a passive method i have some emination videos for this type of space heating so therefore i show it you for better knowledge see the figure passive method south facing wall or window the tiles which absorb the solar radiation passive method in a day solar radiation is absorbed by top vent the path of circulation or circulating air is this type this type of space heating system is also developed during a day solar radiation absorbed by plastic bag which is filled with water and this heated water is 
it transfer and our required place is heated space heating by air heaters solar air collectors heating the space in solar air heaters there are air is heated in solar collector and store in storage tank above we see that hot air is stored in rock pebble gravel etc cool air is introduce and in heat exchanger output is hot air at our required place we heat this place first of all air is heated in collector and then store in storage and it pass through heat exchanger where heat is exchange from hot air to any subject of cycles and then this hot air is heated the space so the continuously process will be applied cool air is in and hot air is out all day this type of process is continue passive method south facing in summer days there is a situation of passive method in a house all house is heated by solar radiation see the exact position of solar radiation and ventilation in house in winter this type of situation in wall house these are the vents south facing housing
this figure is also described from a wall this type of vents and air circulation described here this is also one of the passive method or trombe wall both situation in summer and in winter sun is as this type in both seasons this is multi purpose passive method for more than one floor thank you